Hi, my name is Carrie. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to take you through what it was like to bike 50 miles in one day. I don't even know how I have legs after this video. <laughs> So yes, I woke up one day and I was like, you know, it's starting to become fall and after fall, it becomes winter. And in the winter, you literally cannot do anything active outside for the most part in Wisconsin. So to itch that scratch that I had for getting outside and doing something fitness related, I decided to go on a bike ride. And I thought, well, let's try to bike 20 miles. And then I thought, you know, you can bike 20 miles. That'd be easy peasy. What about 40 miles? Eh, that might get a little hard. And then I decided, you know what? Let's just go all out and let's just do 50 miles. With all that said, let's get into the beginning of this video when I was getting my snacks ready and my water ready because y'all know that I have to have my snacks. <laughs> all right, so we are about to leave. I've got the GoPro on my chest. I've got my pack. I got all my snacks. You know I do in here. It's like 50 degrees out right now. So yeah, I'm really nervous and excited. I haven't biked all year. Well, I shouldn't say all year, but I haven't biked this far in like five or six years, so. Wish me luck, here we go. So initially when I got outside, it was a lot cooler than what I thought it was. Like I knew it was cold out, but I didn't realize like how cold it was. And the second problem I ran into right away was I can't have the mic on my camera because where am I gonna put it? There's only a certain amount of like places I could put my camera with the mic. So I decided to just take the mic off. We're about to leave. I'm about to go on this long trek. It's really cold out. And I had to take the mic off the camera because it wouldn't fit in my backpack. So the audio quality might go down, but I'm sure you guys don't even care about that. So let's, let's start, here we go. And so off we went and we started and I pedaled away and I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be so fun and easy, but I was in for a real treat because like I said, I haven't biked this far in many, many years. I scrolled back on my Instagram to see when was the last time I actually biked 50 miles. The last time I biked 50 miles was June 5th, 2016. I told you it was a long time ago. <laughs> But that didn't stop me and I kept going. I used to be a avid biker. I would bike every single day and I would go between 20 to 30, sometimes 40 miles every single day. Biking in the beginning for me was my fitness. It was my routine. It was something that I found complete and utter joy in. I was able to listen to my music when I would go biking. I was able to think about my thoughts and if I had had any stressors during the day. It was like my time to just get on the bike and just decompress and just let the stress melt away. And it was really one of the key things that helped me start my fitness journey and it helped me get to where I am today. So without cycling and without biking, I would not be where I am currently. And so when I got on that bike and I started going, I was like, man, I miss this feeling. And honestly, in the beginning when I started going, I just kept thinking to myself, I need to get on this bike way more than I currently do because I currently don't bike hardly at all anymore. So we got 20 minutes into the ride. Everything was going great. And I realized that we were going on the same path as I did when I walked that 40, 42,000 steps. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere on screen. But it only took me 20 minutes on a bicycle from my house to this point to where this bench was. So we're 20 minutes into our ride and I just realized we're literally at the same spot that I came when I did my 40,000 steps. So it only took me 20 minutes on a bicycle to get here. And when I walked, it took like almost, I think an hour and a half or two hours. Yikes. So we did a little dumb dance. I was excited, still real high spirits at this point. And then we got back in the saddle and we took off. Now at this point, my legs were starting to feel a little sore, but the one really annoying thing that kept happening was my nose was running. My nose was running for a variety of different reasons, but one of the main ones was I had a cold. I was literally on the tail end of this really, really nasty cold. It was partly because of that. And then the other reason was allergies. When it becomes fall, my allergies start to go a little wild. At this point, my nose 
nose kept running and I kept thinking in my head, oh, that's what you probably should have brought, some tissues. So in an effort to make my nose not feel so stuffy and running, I decided to stop, take a snack break because we were already an hour in and I wanted to be able to keep myself fueled through this whole process and not bonk, which in biking world, bonking means you just drain your energy and you feel lethargic and I didn't want to bonk at all because we were going 50 miles man <laughs> this is the only this is only the beginning we're about 41 minutes in and refueling my nose keeps running i should have brought a tissue even though i was biking in an area that i knew the place that i was biking to was way out in the middle of nowhere it was somebody's house i wanted the fastest way to get out there and the safest way aka not on any major highways because if you don't know which you probably Probably know everybody hates bikers everybody hates cyclists and I don't want to be an annoyance when I'm on my bike I stay as far over to the right side of the road as I possibly can I stay out of your guys's ways when you're driving your cars okay so I don't want to get hit and die <laughs> What can I say? I followed a route on my phone, which took me on this rocky path, which is a very popular path in my town, which freaked me out just a little bit on this particular bike because this is a cycle bike. This is a bike with really skinny tires and skinny tires, flat tires on gravel doesn't mix very well. And I was kind of nervous that I was gonna fall or like slip or turn wrong and then down I go. But that didn't end up happening and and before I could get too far on this dirt path, we stopped at a convenient rest stop that's specifically made for bikers and hikers. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I can blow my nose. <laughs> Actually, we just go to the bathroom. How about that? All right, fam, we're about an hour in. Just went to the bathroom at this lovely location. Blew my nose. Oh God. I'm going on this back trail. It's back there it's gravel not so sure about how that's gonna be with like my road bike not the safest thing but not that it's not the safest thing but if I don't want to get hit by anybody or a car it's probably the safest option I'm feeling really good I fueled up already so just let's hit the road Jack <laughs> the one thing that was really testing me this whole time was the weather it wasn't great. We we're about an hour and a half in. I had to put on this jacket because it started to rain a little bit. My legs are starting to hurt. Let me check quick how many miles I've gone so far. 15.29 miles. So we got a long way to go, baby. There was a point where I put on that jacket, that teal jacket, because it started to rain, started to sprinkle. And as I was taking it off, this adorable family rode their bikes by and this little girl gave me a compliment and I, my heart, you guys, so cute. Hello. I like your backpack. Thank you. That was really, really cute. Oh my God, a cute family. So after that adorable family drove by, I was on a major highway, which was freaking me out. So I pedaled as fast as I possibly could because I wanted to get to the part where I wasn't on the highway. <laughs> and then after I got a little further down the road, all of a sudden I'm going, I'm just minding my own biz. And I look to my left and I see something running at me and I'm like, oh no. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm like on the side of a highway and a dog just ran out. I wasn't recording, but a dog just ran out into the highway and was trying to catch me. The owner's screaming at him. I totally understand if you live out in the country and you don't have your dog on a leash, you're right next to a highway. I would be so scared that my dog would just run out into the highway and just get hit by a car. Oh my God, that was so scary. I even slowed down and made sure that there wasn't a car coming because that dog was booking it. <laughs> By this point, my legs hurt so bad. Oh man, I just went up a hill. That killed my legs. Holy crap. Oh, we're at 24.54 miles. We're so close. We're less than a mile away to the first destination. My legs are dead. My body started to break down. 
Let's be honest, my legs, I don't know how much more they could take, but I knew I was so close to my destination. I was only a few miles away. As I turned down this one road, it had just rained in this area and the trees were so pretty because they started to change colors. And I realized like how beautiful Wisconsin really is when you go out in the country because you get to see all this beautiful scenery. And so that was definitely one of the things that I was really enjoying when I was biking down these back roads. One of the most trickiest parts about this whole ride was right towards the end when I was getting to my first destination. And that was the road to this house that I was going to was completely torn up and it was all soft gravel slash almost like a clay type of sand. Like I said before, my bicycle is a cycle bike and it has skinny tires and I saw that gravel slash sandy road and I was just like, oh no. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. This is all dirt and I'm on a road bike. <laughs> Crap. Well, this is what happens when you go unprepared. Well, not really unprepared, but like, you really don't know what the, the road is gonna throw at you. So far, I've been attacked by a, a dog, <laughs> and now I have to ride my skinny, tired road bike on a dirt, very soft gravel road. Sweet. So when I ride my cycling bike, I wear clipless shoes. My shoe is locked into the pedal. And when your feet are locked into the pedal, whenever you're about to fall or tip over, your first instinct is to pull up on your feet so that you can push them on the ground as fast as you possibly can so you don't fall. Well, I started going and then all of a sudden I started to slip because this is the road was literally like soft gr gravel and I almost fell and I laughed about it. <laughs> ah. And we finally made it and I was so happy. Oh my God, we made it, we made it. Oh. We made it. Woo. Well, we made it. That was so sketchy, holy crap. Ugh. We hung out for a while, I regrouped myself, I rubbed out my legs, I got more water, I stocked up on things. About two and a half hours later, I decided I best hit the road because this took me two and a half hours to get there and by the time I would get home, if I were to leave any later than 3 p.m., it would have been so dark out and I definitely don't want to ride my bike on any back roads at night with one little dinky light. Like I said, I just don't want to get hit by a car. <laughs> I got to my destination. I hung out for about an hour. Now I have to leave because it's three o'clock and I don't want to get home when it's really dark out because I don't want to ride a bike in the dark. I was just inside and it's literally raining. Well, it was raining like 10 minutes before and I think that I'm going to be stuck in the rain when I ride my bike back, so. <laughs> also, I'm running out of snacks, so we shall see how this goes, but we're on our way back. This is going to hurt. <laughs> The weather this day was super, super spotty. There were rain clouds, spotty clouds all day. And at this point, when I was leaving the driveway, I looked over and it was just complete black. <laughs> on the left side of me and I couldn't tell if the rain was coming towards me or if it was going away. So I thought, girl, you're gonna have to work. You have to pump them legs, pump them thighs, and you're gonna have to get going because if you don't, not only are you gonna get soaking wet, but so is your camera and all of your other equipment that you have strapped on your back. All right, guys, I literally just started. There's a ton of rain in front of me. I might get drenched, I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. <laughs> There is something in the road. I don't know what it is. I think I passed the house with the dog that ran, but there's definitely something in the road. I can't tell if it's a deer. Oh, it's a turkey. It's turkeys. Thank God it's just turkeys. <sighs> My legs are dying, by the way. Oh, fuck. This is hard. Turkeys are gone. They're already in the woods. Ooh, my legs, Lieutenant Dan. And this is the point in the ride where my legs literally, like I know I said they started to hurt before, but this is where that started to really break down. My legs were so tight. My quads were just blowing up. I didn't know if I could make it any farther. And the other thing that I need to mention, I had stopped the first 
25 miles on my watch that session when I got to the first destination and when I left the house I started a new workout session so if you hear me saying six miles it's actually an additional six miles from 25 so I'll put the correct mileage when I'm talking on the screen but just know they're two different workout sessions it's not one complete session so I will pop all the stats on the screen alrighty I don't know if you can see me I'm on the side of the highway I'm gonna stop because I my legs hurt so bad I went 6.87 miles <laughs> which is about 40 minutes. So my legs are feeling it right now. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I can do this. I'm starting to feel, duh, I don't know, Carrie, you be able to do this? But I'm gonna quick eat, and then we're gonna get on the road, Jack. Yikes. Now at any point, I had the option to obviously call Mike and have him bring his truck over and we could have just put the bike in and just, I could have been done. But I needed and I wanted to do this challenge so bad. And when I got to a point where we were coming up on that gravel path again, like we were on before when we first, <laughs> rode our bikes out to the first destination. This wave of just like, ugh, finally came over me. And I, it felt so good to be at that point in the ride. You guys have no idea how happy I am that I'm seeing this part of the ride. Oh my gosh, we're in the clear. My legs, I don't know how much farther I can go. So at this point, my legs hurt so bad and they started doing something that I have never experienced in my whole biking career. And that was, they started to to cramp up so if I were to really push and like pedal my right leg specifically started to pulse and the muscle started to contract and I was like <laughs> oh no 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 don't start giving out on me yet we still have to get past all this rain I don't know about you but that rain cloud mess does not doesn't look good <laughs> and my legs boy these suckers are starting to cramp up, especially, oh, my quads, they just, they just hurt so bad. I don't know if I can do this much more. We're at 10.44 miles. We've gone an hour. I still have an hour and 30 minutes left. Oh my gosh. So technically we're at 35 miles right now, even though it says 10, we're at 35. So after we saw that first rain cloud and then we heard the wonderful thunder, I booked it and we stopped back at that little shelter with the bathroom because the rain clouds and the rain were right on my tail end and I decided to just sit up, sit down on the little bench that this little shelter had and just kind of wait it out. All right, guys, we just hit, I believe, 40 miles, and I came back to where I went to the bathroom in the beginning, and I'm underneath this shelter because it is raining, and there is this huge dark cloud and um, a thunder that I am hearing, so uh, I'm just gonna sit here for a moment and see what happens. I can't tell if I'm gonna get soaked or rained on right now, but my legs, they hurt so bad, and if I, like try to push any harder my legs start to cramp up and I don't want to cramp up I've been eating my snacks that I've been packing like crazy I'm not that far away from home either and that's what sucks <laughs> you see how dark it is over here like look at how dark that is and then like over here it's like bright and like sunny oh bitch did you hear that <laughs> oh no Oh no, it's such a weird weather day. We sat down and I just decided to wait it out because I didn't want to get any of my camera equipment wet because I was literally carrying it just in a random backpack. So I sat there for a little bit and then I got out my phone and I realized my phone was about to die. She was going on like 4%. The other thing I forgot to bring was a cell phone charger. Okay. Looks like it cleared up. It looks like it's going like back that way. So I should be okay, hopefully. So then I thought, oh no, if I need to call or text Mike, I won't be able to because my phone is about to die. So I had to make a quick decision on either booking it home, getting wet, or stopping at my dad's house. Oh my God, my legs hurt so bad, holy crap. 
Oh man, that cloud is so dark. But my phone is about to die and to not have my phone completely die, I'm not gonna listen to my music or podcasts. I'm just gonna fucking pedal with my thoughts, which is scary. <laughs> If it gets worse, which, man, that cloud, those clouds are real dark. My dad lives close by where I'm at right now. I could just pedal it to his house. Maybe I'll just bike to his house. Then I could probably charge my phone, maybe. God, I hope he's home. <laughs> <laughs> There's no saying that he's even home right now. So off I went and I pedaled as hard and as fast as I possibly could, but I was starting to get rained on. And luckily my dad was home. Thank God. <laughs> So close. I wasn't trying to. <laughs> so I got to my dad's house and I was like, oh, I can charge my phone at his house. And then I realized he doesn't have an iPhone. <laughs> So he probably doesn't have an iPhone charger. When I got to his house, I was like 90% sure I was about to call Mike and just have Mike pick me up. And I was really bummed out about it. And I was telling my dad like, oh man, I was I just wanna get this 50 miles. I really wanna do it, but I don't wanna ride my bike home and then get poured on and then my camera gets ruined and all my other equipment gets ruined. And he looks at me and he goes, well, why don't you just leave your camera here? And I'm like, duh. <laughs> Leave it to my dad to be the smart one in this situation. I went inside, I was like, all right, that's fine. I left my camera at his house. Before I was about to leave, I'm like, I want to charge my phone, but I don't have an iPhone charger. And he goes, actually, I think I have one. Well, he did randomly had one and I charged up my phone about 20% and off I went. And man, I have never pedaled so hard and so fast in my life because that rain, she was a coming and she was coming with force. <laughs> Just left my dad's. I'm in so much pain right now. Dropped off my camera. We're gonna make it home. And if it starts raining, it's completely okay. Cause the GoPro is waterproof, baby. Here we go. You guys, we just hit 20 miles. Hope you can see that. All we need is five more and I've hit 50 miles. We're so close. I pedaled as hard and as fast as I could. And when we got up to the bench, we did a little handy dandy wave. Here's the bench. Hi bench. <laughs> but when we did get past the bench, it was sunny out, so the weather was just, it was so weird this day. And luckily, I didn't get rained on at all. I hurt, oh my God. <laughs> I hurt so bad right now. I'm literally two miles to 50. My legs, I cannot feel my feet. I have my legs, I don't even know what are legs. They hurt so bad. My quads and my hamstrings are on fire and my nose keeps running because my allergies and the tail end of this cold. But I'm damn determined to do this. And then of course we hit 24 miles. All we needed was one more mile and we would have hit 50. And right after I hit 24 miles, my GoPro battery died. We're so close. We're almost to 25. Oh my God. We got, we got one more mile. I'm so, I can't even think. My legs hurt so bad. I can't feel my feet just, oh my God. This is the, this is the. So then we had to use my good old cell phone. I am so close to being done. We are, <laughs> I am so sore. And I caught it at the last moment of it turning to 25 miles. And I was so relieved. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. This is what 50 miles feels like. What the fuck? I I am so delusional right now. The, I did it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my legs. Go back. We did it, Sam. They hurt so bad, whole team. And that was me biking 50 miles in one day. Was I sore for the rest of the week? You betcha. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching me suffer. If you like this video and content like this, feel free to like the video so other people can find it out in the YouTube algorithm atmosphere. Make sure to leave a fun comment below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.